chemical medicine, pharmaceutical medicine, is basically the ta has taken over medicine. I think we have been, unfortunately, in, in a pharmaceutical, big pharma paradigm. Medicine is very enamored with its namesake, medicines. Uh, so medical doctors like to use medicines, and people expect them to use medicines. But why not use the safest and most effective thing first? Alpha-STIM is a form of cranial electrotherapy stimulation, or CES. CES involves the delivery of electrical stimulation through the skull by the attachment of electrodes. Since the brain is mostly electrical in nature, it can readily be modulated by electrical intervention. Alpha-STIM is the most used and the most researched form of CES. We use electricity and a very small amount of electricity, microcurrent, uh, which is millionths of an amp. And we use that in the brain to treat anxiety, insomnia, and depression. And we can also use the same current and same waveform on the body to treat pain peripherally. Alpha Stim uh, was a, a great answer for a collaboration. We reviewed the literature and there was uh, this uh, intervention that was FDA approved. And for the target symptoms we are planning upon, that is managing patient symptoms, specifically pain, insomnia, anxiety, depression, and we found that this was a good fit because we felt that the, our patients may be able to use this on a regular basis. It was very satisfying for me to see the top cancer institute in the world, MD Anderson, the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center, using AlphaStim for symptom relief in all four of the FDA cleared indications, anxiety, depression, insomnia, and pain management, and getting really good results in advanced cancer patients. We were anticipating some benefit, but not the benefit we saw. The Department of Defense and the Veterans Administration is using alpha-stim cranial electrotherapy stimulation extensively for treating anxiety, uh, insomnia, and depression. Um, post-traumatic stress disorder, traumatic brain injury. So we have seen about a 65% of our market in this country is to the government uh, for those uses. I was very fortunate to be um, trained in the use of cranial electrotherapy stimulation and microcurrent electrotherapy treatment in 1990. I worked at the pain unit of Miami Valley Hospital and Treating chronic pain was the mission of this program. And one of the more powerful interventions that we used were the alpha stim devices. So that was my first exposure. And I have been using it in my own practice ever since with tremendous success. Um, I used it in Iraq and Afghanistan very widely. And soldiers and Marines would line up at the doors of our clinics, such as it was, a clapboard clinic with a few boards nailed together or an old compound from the Iraqi army. But they would line up day after day, night after night. And in one instance, we only had one alpha stim device. So those were long nights, but everybody got their treatment. And the, the results were unimaginably positive across the board without exception. I think the main thing that got the military to start using alpha stim is that they were looking for solutions that didn't involve drugging the soldiers. Because for example, if you give them a sleeping pill, they are out of business for 12 hours. Uh, they, they, they cannot work uh, on a sleeping pill. I mean, the, the side effects are horrendous, uh, including uh, sleep uh, walking and uh, sleep uh, binge eating and sleep driving and just some, some, some bad things. And we certainly cannot affect a soldier's mind like that and, and, and put them in the very dangerous job that they have. There are no side effects. Every medication has side effects. Even aspirin has side effects. Some of them can be quite nasty. Many of the medications prescribed for the treatment of PTSD, depression, anxiety disorders, and sleep disorders are very addictive. There are no side effects to the alpha stim unit. Um, sometimes some vertigo or lightheadedness and dizziness, which means you need to turn down the setting on the device so that the microcurrent, which is a millionth of an ampere, is reduced. 
You don't see that with medications. So with my experience, there really are no side effects to the device if it is used properly. Highest military decoration, the Medal of Honor. <laughs> Sergeant Dakota Meyer. My anxiety got real bad. Finally, someone sent me an alpha stem. I mean, when I looked at it, I gotta be honest, I thought it was some type of snake oil. Finally, a couple weeks later, I put this thing on and it just helped melt it away. The soldiers liked it. Uh, you can actually feel the anxiety melt away in the first treatment. And so eventually they really, um, they really embraced it. Alpha Stim is a big component of, of our everyday practice. And I have every tool and toy that's available in physio medicine. But if I was told I could only have one thing to save the most lives, it would definitely be the Alpha Stim device. As clinicians or physicians, we are tending to give medications. Electromedicine is the next option that one has to look into. You don't need to have a very strong signal, but you need a very, a very specific signal. And so what AlphaStim does is it creates a whole series of very specific signals. They can influence various uh, biochemical and physiological reactions at a cellular level. I do believe that electrical medicine will be the wave of the future and it's already becoming that. The future of medicine is in biophysics, not in biochemistry.